Uh, so our project, as you see here, is a sea urchin inspired robot. We call it uh, Sisyphus. So sort of our novel approach to locomotion was to have the body a sphere, but have these legs that slide in and out. Um, so these legs are on this cam mechanism, and because its surface is not equidistant from its spinning point, uh, the legs will move in and out. And the way it's shaped, the way it, the legs on one side will be shorter than the legs on the other side. Uh, so as it spins, the legs will do this like wave motion, uh, getting longer and shorter around the body. So it'll want to sit on the shorter legs uh, because its center of mass is closer to them. Um, so it'll do this hopefully weird staggered walk roll thing. Um, and then the other inspiration for our robot was uh, the Greek king Sisyphus from mythology uh, who is punished to roll the stone up the hill um, only to have it roll back down as soon as he reaches the top. So when we were thinking about how to test our robot and what a cool starting application was, we decided that if it could wake up, sense which direction was uphill, and roll its way to the top, and then when it gets to the top, collapse back into a ball, only to roll back down, and just then wake up again and repeat, that'd be like a really cool uh, way to show what our robot's capable of, and also kind of like a nice little funny way to you know, make it interact with the world. So the biggest challenge for us has been um, at the actual build of the robot. Uh, we designed it in one day on a whiteboard and kind of got the m major mechanism that we were going to be using. Uh, and that flew by. Um, the actual design of fitting all the geometry in the confined space took a few weeks. Um, but the biggest challenge, like I said, was building. So we have 3D printed parts, machine parts, uh, stuff out of wood, plastic, metal and getting all those to interact with each other like we anticipated, and also just to build them in the first place, has been very trying. The nice thing about this project was that Professor Johnson assigned a very open-ended design requirement. Uh, he gave us the direction of make a robot that can fulfill an experiment that is somehow bio-inspired. Uh, so that really opened the doors to anything. Um, the ultimate goal was to build a cool robot. And then, you know, we found a way to really try to test something experimentally with that. But, you know, day one, we were just saying, let's build something that no one's done before. <laughs>